cool. Okay, so I have to send you a different link. Okay. I'll send it to you right now. We're gonna start the game at uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes? Perfect. No, I, I just said that just to say that. I don't know if that's true. Can we start the game in like ten minutes? Oh, I need to change the name. Oh, well, that... Huh? Southwest... Okay, Southwest Desert League? Uh, yeah, versus San Diego Sprint. Versus San Diego Sprint. Yeah, uh, Women's Basketball Association. W-A-S-B-A, Women's Basketball Association. Opening day. Or tip-off, or I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I had to fill out a W-4 today. Okay, cool. So, I gotta resend the link. You want to see yourself reffing on live stream, man? I can send it to you afterwards. You want to see it? Yeah. What's your number? 619 Uh huh. 572 What are you going to do? Uh, text it to me? Yeah. Give me the live stream. And then you can watch it right after. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much on right now, so right here is on the screen. Wait, can they hear us? Yeah, they can hear us. They can hear us? Yeah, they can. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were on. Oh. Sir, is this being uh, streamed on our channel? It's on Genius's right now. Yeah, yeah, but that's I'm gonna send her a different right, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, that thing on the phone where I keep track of the score for like the Sharks games, right? Could we do something similar for this game? Or what happened? Um, yeah, you guys want to do it? Okay, yeah, we're, we're live, we're on. I was gonna see if I can use the bathroom real quick. Uh,
All right, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coronado High School, usually home of the Coronado Islanders, but today it will be home of the San Diego Sprint of the Women's Basketball Association. It is opening day. It is tip-off day. Hopes and dreams all reaching one goal, the ultimate goal, to win the chip at the end of the season. Your Sprint are hosting the visiting Southwest Desert Lynx all the way from El Paso, Texas, so we should should have a good one in store for you. The Desert Lynx, led by head coach Samantha Stooks, and their roster consists of today number four, Rebecca Favela, number five, Desiree Arroyo, number six, Alexis Ross, number 11, Emily Quillar, number 13, Lupita Chow, number 14, Samantha Ashida, number 21, Shannon Powell, number 24, Christiane Duarte, and number 30, 30, Janelle Perez. For your sprint, this is their roster for the day. You have number two, Asia McNeil. Number four, Zaniah Thomas. Number six, Sam Campos. Number eight, Rula Bajani. Number 10, Amber Jones. Number 12, Toretta McGee. Number 21, Jayla Martinez. Number 23, Nia De La Peña Thompson. Number 25, Avi Leo Pepe Tele, number 29, Mariah Hendricks. Number 31, Masia Campos. And number 39, Vic Stewart. And again, both teams just waiting, just awaiting tip-off here. Usually, folks, if you uh, have followed my commentary career, which I'm sure not many of you have, but I'll give you a little history. I've done my fair share of Coronado games, not at this gymnasium, but usually over at the soccer field at Niedermeyer. That's where I usually do my Coronado games, but I'm happy here in this gymnasium. So... Again, just awaiting the referees. Now, I'm your commentator, by the way, Joshua Pangan, and I am joined by my co-commentator today, Lester Mayo. All right, then, here we go. Ross is in the middle with Thomas, and it's won by Ross. So we are underway, folks. This is Janelle Perez dribbling the ball up the floor for the Lynx. She's kicking it out to the corner, a three. It's airballed, and it's rebounded by Thomas. Here's Zaniah Thomas running the floor for the sprint. Sprinting their way to the basket. Thomas looking for options, feeds it down below. The nice layup, excellent job there. That was Messia Campos getting the first bucket of the season for the sprint. That was a nice pass. It was. Really so pass. here's Perez, she swings it over to Rebecca Favela. They're gonna find Lupita Chow. Chow looking down, now looking to swing the basketball. Driving the mid-range J, and it's missed, rebounded by the sprint and it's off of the sprint last. So an early 2-0 lead here for the sprint, Lester. I like that aggressive shot she just took, but uh, although she missed, but that was a good shot. Absolutely. So then inbounds to be taken by the desert. They're gonna find Ross. Ross looking, she finds Perez. Perez back to Ross, and a hand in her face, she misses it, and it's rebounded by the Lynx. Good offensive rebounding there. Now, here is Perez again, running the point for the Lynx. Cross-court pass, driving down the baseline, looking for options, good trap defense there by the sprint. Back to Perez, her three-pointer, and it's a little bit off. Rebounded there by Thomas. Good rebound. Excellent rebound. So, here is Campos. Sam Campos for the sprint, Campos crossing. Campos puts it up, and it's a foul. She'll shoot two at the line for San Diego. So that was some good handles there by Campos. I'm gonna have to get a replay on that. I like that crossover, the double move, the shot. Going right to the rack. Going to the line, staying aggressive, right? Absolutely. So Sam Campos will shoot two at the charity stripe then for the sprint. Her first two free throws of the game. Campos, her first free throw, good to go. Three nothing sprint. Sam Campos, her second free throw is missed, and it's rebounded by the sprint. Switching it out, kicking it. Thomas swings it, and it's stolen away. 
Good defensive play there from El Paso. Now they're gonna drive, she goes all the way, kicks it out to Perez. Perez feeds it inside and it's stolen away by Thomas. Here's Thomas and it's nicked again and it's out of bounds. Sprint ball, so both teams really hustling on defense here. It looks like a track meet out here. Yep. So it will be inbounded by the looks of it. Zaniah Thomas will inbound it. Thomas. Nope. Or excuse me, that was uh, our teammate. She was trying to pass it to Thomas. Here's Perez on the fast break. Perez all the way, and she gets the foul. Janelle Perez with a chance to complete the old-fashioned three-point play at the line. 8-13 left to go in the first quarter of this one. So then. Again, Perez, who is running the point for El Paso. The last game Lester and I commentated, by the way, folks, was a TBL game between the Sharks and the SoCal Moguls, the Sharks of San Diego. So you should check out that basketball network as well as Perez misses the free throw. It's rebounded by Thomas. So Thomas, she's going to feed it over here to Sam Campos. So Campos calling out a set for the sprint, screen set. Campos looking for options. Gives it over to uh, Jones and it's stolen away. And they're gonna have an easy layup here for Perez. And they take the lead, 4-3 El Paso. Perez has been out here showing that energy. Absolutely, she's been quick. Now here is Thomas. Zania Thomas, screen set. Thomas looking for the swing. She gives it over to Campos. Campos looking. Swinging, Campos to the rim. Campos, what a move! Sam Campos retakes the lead for the sprint. ESPN top 10 right there. Five, five for the score, and here is Perez. Perez, she currently has all the points for El Paso. Now she's gonna swing it back to Favela. Back to Perez. Perez looking, Shh. they're looking to drive. This is Powell. Powell to the rim, kicks it out. Perez, one more pass. This is a three-pointer, and it's off. Rebounded by El Paso, and she puts it up and in. Shannon Powell with the board. So then, here is Sam Campos. Campos for the sprint. Screen set, Campos, who almost lost her uh, footing there. Campos driving. Campos the spin. Campos the jumper, and it's missed. Rebounded by the Lynx. Looking for options, they find Perez. She's been one of their better ones. Perez, what a feed inside. Looking, driving down the baseline. She puts it up and she's fouled. She'll shoot two at the line, Rebecca Favela. So uh, good energy uh, so far throughout this game. What are your thoughts? Less 632 left in the first quarter with a chance to take the lead here on free throws, or a, a chance to extend the lead on free throws for the Lynx. Um, well, we see the sprint uh, bringing in subs, but um, the energy that's, that hey, Southwest has came out here with uh, on the road, um, they've been really aggressive and, and taking it to the hoop. I'd like, I like to see the surf, or the sprint, excuse me. Um, you know, keep this game close. I want to see a close game. That's my style. Absolutely. So Asia McNeil checks in for the sprint, and it looks like Nia De La Pena Thompson checks in for the sprint as well. Few substitutes have also come in for the Lynx. So here is Favela, and she gets her second one to fall. One for two, seven five to score. Six and a half minutes left to go in this first quarter. This is Campos. Campos, now the three pointer. It's off. That was shot by M Messia Campos, and they're going to have an easy layup here for the Lynx. Good fast break. That was an awesome pass. Awesome pass to the finish. Um, they just naturally playing the game. Yeah, excellent court vision. So, here is Sam Campos again. Campos swinging it over to Asia McNeil. McNeil feeding it over to the other Campos. She puts it up and it's off. And now here is Perez looking to push the pace. Perez around the back. Look at the handles. Dishing it out to the corner. Her three-pointer and it's off. Rebounded by the Lynx. Now Perez shoots the three. She's off. Rebounded again by Powell. That's another three for the Lynx. And it's off. And it's now rebounded by the sprint. And that's going to be sprint basketball. 9-5 the score. And it looks like Alexis Ross will check in for the Lynx. She'll check in for Lupita Chow. 
So then, De uh, Thompson will inbound it over to Sam Campos. Campos calling out a set now for the sprint who are looking to score some a bucket on this possession. Campos feeds it to Messia Campos. Now down below, bully ball all the way, the fadeaway, and it's missed by Thompson. Now look at Perez pushing the pace yet again. Perez going to the hole, kicks it out to the corner. Looking for options, cutting to the rack. Now out to the wing, the floater off the glass and it's off. Now here come the sprint on the fast break. Good defense there to uh, contain Thomas. Thomas, Thompson driving to the hole. Thompson kicks it out. Campos for three. She misses. Rebounded by the Lynx again. And here is Perez. Perez lost the handle only momentarily though. I need some air in that ball. Yeah. So here is Perez, 10 seconds on the clock, calling out a horns play. That sounds like a genius play right there. So here's Campos, Perez driving, Perez looking, Perez kicks it out. Here's the three-pointer, and it's off. Rebounded by the Lynx again. That's Powell. She has been really good on the boards. Now they get it back to her. Her three-pointer, and she misses as well. And it's rebounded by Perez, Perez. Cutting to the basket, feeds it to Powell. Powell on the inside. She puts it up and puts it in. Shannon Powell, 11-5 the score. 4.04 left to go in the first quarter. So here is Thomas. Thomas thought about it, looking, kicks it out to the corner to Campos. Now it's Sam Campos. Sam Campos dribbling the ball back out to the three-point line. Campos, she'll shoot the three, and she'll miss. And it's rebounded by Powell. She's been a beast on the boards, Les. Now here is Perez. Perez, the Euro to Powell, what a feed! And she's fouled and she'll shoot two at the line. Passo's out here hustling, man. Yeah. Making plays, number 30. They are, that they are. And it looks like a media timeout called. So we will have free throws to be shot by Shannon Powell when we, retur when we return. The Lynx lead 11-5 over your San Diego Sprint, and we'll see you after the break. All right, so then, coming out of the timeout, and Shannon Powell will shoot free throws here. Coming out of the timeout for your sprint, Asia McNeil is out there on the floor along with Nia De La Pena Thompson. Then you have, then you've got Campos out there as well along with Vic Stewart, and she gets her first free throw to fall. The other player is there as well. So, Shannon Powell, her second free throw, good to go. Perfect free throws there from Powell. 13-5 the score, the sprint need to look for some buckets here. So, here is Vic Stewart. Stewart, looking for options, gives it to McNeil. McNeil driving, McNeil still driving, looking. They put it up and they put it in, great dish there. McNeil with the dime. Yeah, 13-7, they cut the lead to six, and here is Perez. Janelle Perez looking for options here. Perez crossing it over to Quayler. Here's the three-pointer, it's off, it's an air ball. Rebounded by Powell, Powell kicks it back out. Perez the fake, Perez the three. Bang, she gets it to go. Janelle Perez from downtown and the lead is 16-7 Lynx. She's been a spark for them, hasn't she, Les? Yeah, bringing that energy. So now here is Stewart to McNeil. McNeil driving, swinging it over to Sam Campos. Campos 
Oh, she picked up her dribble. Now back to Stewart. Stewart feeds it on the inside. Bullying her way down is La Pepe Tello, and she misses it. Rebounded by the Lynx. I'd like to see her take so her time a little bit here more. Here is Favela. Favela running the floor for El Paso. Favela kicking it over to Emily Quaylar. Perez. Here's the mid range J, and it's missed. Rebounded by the sprint. Now, here comes the fast break from Vic Stewart. Stewart. Thinking about it, pulls it back out. Campos, and she traveled. And a substitution to be made. Desiree Arroyo will check in, and she will check in for Shannon Powell. Shannon Powell's taking a breather after uh, grabbing all those boards. Oh, yeah, she's been working hard in the paint. That's for certain. And here's a girl who's been working hard as well, Janelle Perez. So Perez, she'll swing it over to Rebecca Favela. Favela looking. Double team comes, back to Favela. Favela driving the mid-range J, and she misses it. Rebounded by the links or the sprint. It is the sprint. Nice. And here is Campos. Campos on the fast break. Campos, the Euro, Campos, and that's an offensive foul. So Janelle Perez draws the charge. She's been doing a bit of everything. And passing the ball, handling the ball. Shooting, making her shots. Absolutely. So it looks like Zanaya Thomas will check in for Sam Campos for the sprint. So Janelle Perez will now run the floor for El Paso. She shows no signs of slowing down until now. She calls a timeout as the Lynx leads 16-7 over your San Diego sprint. 1.39 left to go in the first quarter. And we will see you after the break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming back out of the timeout here, we have Zaniah Thomas on the floor for the sprint. She is out there along with Jayla Martinez, and here is Perez for the Lynx. So it looks like, look at this, Les. They lo it looks like the sprint have changed to a 2-3 zone defense. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Um, you know, something, sometimes when you change your defensive look and defensive strategy, um, it can uh, it can change the game as well. And whoa, look at that! They get a steal right off the bat. Maybe yeah, look at that. Yeah, some things don't work and some things do. So here's the fast break from the sprint, going all the way, and she's fouled. She'll shoot two at the line. That is Mariah Hendricks. Good aggressive take by Hendricks. Yep. So a big big chance to uh, shoot two and get the score a bit closer. Or excuse me, that was uh, Abby La Pepe Tele for the sprint. So La Pepe Tele, and she misses her first free throw. Yeah. <laughs> the five and the nine is confusing me on the jersey a bit. And look, well, sh yeah, so Shannon Powell's actually back out there for the Lynx, who, again, has been a beast on the boards, and she misses both free throws. So it will be rebounded by Quillar. Now here is Powell. Powell looking for her options. It's the sprint staying in the 2-3 defense. Now they're throwing it back. Now they're feeding it inside. The swarming defense. Here's the three-pointer, and it's off. And it's rebounded by Powell, and she puts it in again. She Powell. can't be stopped. Powell's been a beast on the board. It has. So 18-7, 43 seconds left to go. Here is Thomas. Thomas, and it's stolen away by the Lynx. Now, here comes El Paso again on the fast break. This is Arroyo. Oh, look at the feed by Arroyo, and it's blocked by the sprint. Welcome to the block party. It was blocked by Abby Lapepe Tele. 
Pepe Latelli with the invitation. So then, inbounding the ball here is Arroyo. Arroyo tosses it to the top of the three-point line to Alexis Ross. Ross feeding it to Chow. Chow, here's Powell showing the range, and she misses the three. And it's rebounded by the sprint, and here comes Hendricks. 15 seconds. Hendricks brings it back out, looking for options. She finds Stewart. Nine, Stewart eight. has seven seconds to shoot. Looking, driving, and she's fouled. 3.8 on the clock. I think they're in the bonus, so she might be going to the line for two. That could potentially be it. I don't. Usually, usually if there's a foul under two minutes, two fouls, um, they usually go to the line. But it looks like it's not the case. Different rules, huh? I guess so. So the sprint have to uh, put up a shot here quickly. Looking for options. They find one inside. Blocked. Looking to throw it up again, and that will do it. So after the end of the first quarter, the visiting El Paso Southwest Desert Lynx lead your San Diego Sprint by a score of 18 to 7. Don't go anywhere, folks, as we will begin the second quarter very shortly. All right then, folks, welcome back to the WBA, the Women's Basketball Association. We are here at Coronado High School, home of the San Diego Sprint. They trail 18-7 to the visiting Desert Lynx. Ten-minute quarters, by the way, folks, as Thomas will inbound the ball here to Sam Campos. So here's Campos. The screen is set by La Pepe Tele. Here's Campos. Campos kicks it out. That is the other Campos. Now it's back to Thomas. Thomas spinning. Thomas looking to go all the way, and she lost the handle. And the Lynx will have possession. I think the sprint, sprint seems like the sprint is still warming up. Yeah. yeah. So here is Rebecca Favela. Favela out to Ashida. Ashida, top of the three-point line to Chow, swinging it over. Driving, the mid-range J. Oh, off the glass. How pretty was that? Rebecca Favela. Wells Fargo or Chase? <laughs> Wells Fargo or Chase, you choose your bank. <laughs> 27 in favor of the Lynx. Here is Thomas. Thomas takes it all the way. Excellent job there by Zaniah Thomas. Much needed bucket as well. They did. Yeah, they needed that. And now here's Powell. Powell, and she lost the handle, I think. I think it was a block. So here is Thomas. Thomas driving. Thomas puts it up, and she misses it. Rebounded by Campos. She misses it. And it's off of Powell, I think, or is it? San Diego ball. And it looks like it's off of Powell, so it will be sprint basketball. And checking in for the El Paso is Emily Quaylar and Christiane Duarte. So here's Hendricks to inbound the ball here for the sprint. Hendricks. Throws it ahead. Oh, great defense initially. Now it's back out of Sam Campos. Here's Thomas. Thomas driving. Thomas. And, and is she fouled? I think she might have been foul. blocking foul, it looked like. Foul on the shot. Foul on the sure. shot. So then, it will be Zania Thomas to shoot two. Foul was committed by Samantha Ashida. So Thomas has a chance to cut the lead within single digits here with these critical free throws at the line. Thomas, she gets her first one, nothing but net. And Janelle Perez will check back into the game for Samantha Ashida. So Zaniah Thomas then. 
Her second free throw is good to go. Nothing but net both times. So then, here is Perez. She's been the star of the game so far. Your thoughts, Les? On Perez? Yeah. Um, she's been real aggressive. She uh, takes her time with the ball. Does play, you know, does a smart, yes. just makes smart decision, decisions, excuse me. And, uh, you know, she knows how to play the game. Absolutely. So there's a turnover there on the links. And now it will be inbounded to uh, Campos. Cross court to Thomas. What a feed. Thomas! Oh, she almost got the and one. So Thomas will go back to the free throw line to shoot, but good vision there from Sam Campos. That was some uh, Dante Culpepper to Randy Moss on the, on the run. There you go. She, she almost threw the touchdown oh, pass right. there. She almost finished. She almost had the touchdown dance at the end of that. Yeah. Well, it, Thomas still has a chance to dance here if she converts both of these free throws. So Zaniah Thomas, this free throw, good to go again. Free throws. So that's the person not to foul in a late game situation. You don't want to foul her when uh, shooting free throws. Well, we hope she makes the next one, right? Hopefully. Close, right? Hopefully she does. 2012 the score, Thomas. Oh, yeah, perfect. 2013 now the score in favor of the Lynx. So now here is Perez running the point for the Lynx. They're still in that 2-3 zone, Les. Still playing that 2-3 zone. It's caused, it's caused some delay and, uh, and it's a... Uh, it's it's, it's rushing shots right now, as you can see. Yep, and Thomas, oh, comes down with the board. Oh. Now here's Sam Campos. Campos has to back it out. Finds Thomas, thought about it. Thomas drives. Thomas, the hop step, back oh. to Campos. Oh. And yeah. Campos stolen away. That was stolen by Rebecca Favela. Now here is Perez. Perez all the way oh. ahead. Oh, and she couldn't hold on. The pass was intended for Christiane Duarte. A little too high, a little too high. Yeah. But it was a good look, though. It was a good look. And Alexis Ross will check in for Duarte here. So then it will be Messia Campos to get it to uh, Sam Campos. By the way, those two are married. So we have a married couple out there on the floor. Congratulations to the Camposes. So Messia to Thomas. Back to Messia. Messia looking. Finds the cutter. And, oh, that's great defense. Great defense there from Quellar who read it perfectly. Black shows jump ball. No, I think. Uh, but it's going to go. It's going to go to the arrows possession going arrows going to the links, yeah. yeah. So 27.25 to, for Perez and the links to work with here. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Perez splitting the D, laying it off. Wide open three pointer. Oh, it's just off. And it's rebounded by. Well, all, Powell almost got the rebound, but it for the luckily for the sprint, they will have possession. And it looks like half court press, full court press, Les. Looks like a full court. Full court press by the Desert Lynx. It looks like a 3 1 1. Uh, it looks like a 3 1 1. So here is Campo. She has to cross this line. And oh boy, they're, they're having trouble crossing. And yeah. See, in this situation, um, you know, a lot of teams, they have trouble breaking the press. So. In this situation, I think that we have to use the pa we got to pass the ball. If you pass the ball, the ball is going to move faster than people. If you pass well, the ball. they also had two sprint players open with only one in the middle. You just had to have one move up and then kick it out. Right, attack and pass and, and, and create spacing. Yeah. Away from the defender. Speaking of spacing, here's Perez. Perez driving to the hole. Perez kicking it out. Another wide open three pointer for the Lynx, and they miss. Rebounded by La Pepe Tele. And she's yeah. looking for a point guard, and she'll give it to uh, Thomas. Thomas. Oh, good double team. Oh, on They're the on the ground. And it looks like a jump ball. And it looks like possession arrow will go to the sprint. So then, Thomas will inbound it here. So here is Thomas. She'll inbound it to Sam Campos. Campos looking for her options. Campos. Oh, she thought about it. Now she gives it to Messia Campos. Back to Sam. Sam cross court over to Hendricks. Hendricks now to the corner. Here's Messia. Messia looking. Messia the mid range. Oh, in and out. It in rattled and out in and out. <laughs> Sponsored by In and Out Burger. Yep. Now here is Perez. Perez. Driving, bringing the ball back out. Perez, cross court, driving to the bucket, feeding it to Powell on the inside. Oh, look at the dish to Perez. 
as she is, as she fouled. Substitutions to be made. Uh, Terveta McGee will enter the game for La Pepe Tele. Sub, no sandwich. So it looks like it will be the Lynx ball. They're in a stack right here. I wonder who will go where. You can tell they practice, practice this at practice, right? Yeah. I remember the stack from my uh, club basketball days. We used to run stacks all the times right out of inbounds. So here's Perez. Oh. Perez, oh, and she had Powell momentarily, and now she'll toss it's it, stolen. and it's oh. stolen oh, by go. Hendricks. Oh, 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 oh. And that's, uh, yep, that's over and back, I think. It looks like a turnover. It looks like she a got turnover. in the front court and went to the back court, so. So Pierre Well, the Samantha call. Stooks is not happy about that call. She felt it was tipped. Beforehand, I mean, I would be too if I was on the Desert Links, right? Yeah. So then Thomas will inbound it to Campos. So here is Sam Campos. Perez playing D on there. Campos to Messia Campos. He, she misses a three, and a loose ball foul there on the sprint. Over the back. Mm-hmm. So then here is Perez. 2013 is the score in favor of the Lynx. 540 left to go in this uh, second quarter. Now she finds Ross. Alexis Ross crossing up. Screen set. Ross back to Perez. Perez, Hendricks playing some D. And look at the feed on the inside. The fadeaway J. It's missed. Rebounded by the Lynx. Back out to Perez. Here is Perez. Feeding it to Ross. Ross looking. Finding it. They had Perez wide open on the inside. Now Perez takes a three. Bang! Janelle Perez from downtown. The lead is back up to 10. Double digits. Now here is Thomas. Uh -oh. Thomas. Good defense by Perez. And she traveled. 23-13. 501 left. And it looks like Nia Thompson will check back into the game for the sprint. And Lupita Chow will check in for El Paso. Now here's Janelle Perez. Outstanding point guard. Mm -hmm. She's only been like 10 minutes into the game, and she's showing that she can play. Absolutely. Cross-court pass again. Driving to the basket. They cut it back to Perez. Perez, cross-court pass again. This looks like your uh, UC days, Les. The cross play, doesn't it? Now here's the three-pointer, and it's just off the front of the rim. And the sprint. Oh, look at that. There's Powell. Powell puts it up, and she puts it in. Shannon Powell again. 25-14 the score. Sharp like Shannon. Mm -hmm. Rich like Gannon. So here is Sam Campos. Campos putting on the moves. Campos, the spin. Campos, oh, she missed it. And now here is Perez. Looking for the fast break. Perez putting on the moves. Perez kicks it out. Powell, her three-pointer. Oh, and she missed it. Rebounded by Thomas. Thomas, and that's going to be sprint basketball. And a media timeout here with 4.05 left to go in the second quarter. The El Paso Southwest Desert Lynx lead the sprint 25 to 14, and we'll see you after the break. All right, so Josh, we're, you know, we're about how many minutes into the game? How many quarters is this? Uh, it's, well, it's the second quarter, 4.05 left to go, 10-minute quarters apiece, 25-14 uh, in favor of the Desert Lynx. So what do you think we got to do for the sprint? What does the sprint got to do to get back in this game? Uh, I mean, Perez and Powell is just looking like she's Well, they, 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 there, they right? need to put a body on Powell down below because she is killing them on the offensive glass, and they need to double-team Perez every time she has the ball because she's been their key playmaker. And then on the offensive end, they just they just start need they need to knock some jump shots down. Simple as that. 
So I believe it's the sprint ball, right? It should be uh, San Diego basketball, and it will be. And what I and like about women's basketball is like the ball movement. The ball moves to the open person. It's, it's a great, you know, um, thing, thing to watch out here. Yeah. So here's Hendricks. Hendricks looking. Here's the full court press. And is that a travel? Seven seconds. Oh, seven seconds. Well, at least there's no uh, bonus point rule, right? Huh? There's no bonus point rule, right? No, no, no 3D light. Yeah, no 3D light. But obviously, <laughs> but yeah, she wishes, yeah. As Perez will inbound this ball, she'll toss it up, throws it back to Perez. What a feed. Look at that. Now on the inside, that's a, a look, is that a travel? Pack your bags. So Lupita Chow traveled there. But I'm going to tell you right now, Les, this full court press is giving the sprint a lot of problems right now. They can't seem to break it. It's pretty brutal. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta move the ball. Now here's there Hendricks. Go. There you go. That's how to break the press. Two on one. They put the oh layup nice. and one. The foul. That's how to break a press. Yeah, it should. It should be like that. It should be like that every time. It really should. And Tervetta McGee will shoot one at the line, to chance to complete the old-fashioned three-point play here. 25-16. The score. Here's McGee, and she gets it to go. So 25-17. Great start at the timeout, right? Yep. So here's Perez. They're putting Campos on her, it looks like. So Perez putting on the handles, feeding it to Powell. Powell looking for options. Finds Chow. Chow the mid-range. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty from Lupita Chow. Now here is Campos throwing it ahead for Thomas. Thomas lost the handle. Thomas looking, crossing it over. Here is McGee, back to uh, Campos. Campos driving, looking. Campos splitting the D. Campos the spin. Campos the feed to Thomas. Thomas puts it up and it's not gonna count. Three in the key. Good defense from the Lynx. He's got a lot of hustle. Oh yeah. And it looks like Vic Stewart will check in for Hendricks for the sprint. So then here is Janelle Perez. Perez crossing over her opponent. Now they're swinging it down below to Powell. Look at Powell. Powell on the baseline, kicks it back out. Driving, cutting to the rack again. And it's stolen away by the sprint. That was Thomas. And here is Thomas driving now. Thomas down and, oh, spinning away. Thomas, Thomas. Oh, and she's fouled hard. That's some impact. Yeah, and she'll shoot two at the line for the sprint. So Zanaya Thomas trying to take matters into her own hands, trying to uh, will the team back into this one. She did a nice spin move. And then got into the contact, got to the line. Mm-hmm. So Zanaya Thomas, 2.42 left in the second quarter. She... And a free throw violation. Well, look at that. Never seen that before. Not in a women's game. I mean, well, it's a good thing Giannis doesn't play in this league. He would never get to shoot a free throw <laughs> with how long he takes usually. So, Zaniah Thomas then will only shoot one, and that one is good. So, 18-27. Here is Favela. Rebecca Favela. Gives it to Perez, Perez driving, Perez looking for options, Perez backing it back out, throws it over to Chow, kicks it to the corner, driving to the rim again, the floater is no good, and Powell is there, Powell, and she's fouled. <laughs> unstoppable, Les, unstoppable down below. Giving San Diego all sorts of problems. She's really aggressive. Very. So let's see if Powell can shoot free throws. She misses her first one. And coming in is Desiree Arroyo for Rebecca Favela. So here is Shannon Powell. Her second free throw is missed, in and out. Might have been a good foul, right? Yeah, so I guess it was a good foul. Now here is McGee. Swinging it over. Here is Stewart. Stewart. 
Good defense by the Lynx. Stewart driving. Stewart. Stewart flips it up, and she couldn't get it to go. Now here is Perez. Perez flying down the floor. Perez looking for her options. Perez finds an option. Driving baseline. Wide open is Chow. Oh, yeah. Lapita Chow. Chow to that. And she gives them a 29 to 18 lead. Nice extra pass, nice extra pass. Yeah. So, driving to the basket is Stewart, kicks it back out. This is a three pointer and it's missed. Rebounded by Ashida. Now here is Perez. Janelle Perez looking for options. Oh, look at that. She's got nice handles, Les. Look at Perez, what a feed to Powell, and the foul! That's the duo right there we were talking about. 31-18, 1.22 left to go in the second quarter. Second nature. Mm -hmm. uh, you find the open person, wide open, you give it to him. <laughs> that doesn't open up, mm -hmm. you know, somebody else is open. And Rula Bajani will check in for the sprint. And, oh, she gets her free throw to go, so Powell completes the old-fashioned three-point play that time. Now here is Rula Bijani to Stewart. Campos driving. Campos, the reverse lay-in. That was a nice move by Campos. Timeout called by Samantha Stooks as the lead is cut to 12, 32-20 in favor of the Lynx. 1.13 left to go. We'll see you after the break. Nice aggressive take by Campos. All right, here we go, folks. Stewart, Bajani, Campos, Thomas, and Pena Thomas are the five on the floor for the sprint coming out of the timeout. Now, here is Ashida. Ashida. Now, here's Perez. Perez looking for options here. Perez crossing through the legs. Perez. They're trying to play defense. She's going to drive to the basket. Perez, the Euro, finds a wide open teammate for three. Bang! Perez to Ashida, and Ashida hits the tray. Now here is Stewart. Stewart driving. Stewart kicks it out. Here is Bajani. Bajani, and she loses it. Turnover. Here's the fast break for the Lynx. Looking for options. Oh, she nearly found Powell. They're thinking of shooting, driving to the rack. Now here they come, the feed all the way, and the layup is missed. Rebound by the Lynx, flipped up, and Powell misses the putback. 20 seconds. Yep. Now here is Stewart. Stewart, Bajani, her three-pointer, she misses. Rebounded, oh, a collision, and it's going to be Lynx basketball. 12.3 left. Yep, 12.3 left. 12.3 left, the Lynx lead by 15. They find Janelle Perez. So, do you think Perez will take the final shot here? Uh, I think she's gonna make a good decision. Here's Honestly. Perez, well here we go, three, two, one, Perez at the horn! Oh, she misses it off the front of the rim. So after the, after the first half, the visiting Southwest Desert Lynx lead by a score of 35 to 20 over your San Diego Sprint, folks. We will see you at the beginning of the third quarter.
me with my
give him the pass the ball like that? Like, how can I tell my team? <laughs> She's 25 and 12. Like nice. That's because we were um, doing the Pokemon. Yeah. Some of them are sharper than me. I'm about to take some, uh, some notes from the, uh, some, some, uh, some pointers. Oh, whatever. Let me know. Yeah, because uh, I like the I way. I appreciate it. That's a huge compliment. Because I, I mean, I have a team too, and now I'm like, I need them to pass the ball. The way they're playing, that's how I need my team to play. Yeah, I appreciate it. Look it out. Yeah. And for them to just understand that that's what you, that's what basketball is good for. So they think it's like James Harden. Right. <laughs> that's real basketball. Yeah. You're passing the ball, moving the ball, extra pass, driving to the lane, wide open person, some big men. The one we're doing that, the, that, that I'm working with? Or? Yeah. Right, the, the ABA? Uh, what's her name? The San Diego Geniuses. Oh, you never got a chance. Maybe you will. You only got the first. Oh, yeah. How was the judges like that? Oh, yeah. The Southwest Judges Council. With Tim, right, Tim? <laughs> Get her to coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might, she might as well coach my team. <laughs> <laughs> They would listen. They would listen. <laughs> All right, folks, and welcome back to Coronado High School, home of the San Diego Sprint, as they trail the visiting Southwest Desert Lynx all the way from El Paso, Texas. They, the Lynx lead 35-20. to 20. Beginning of this third quarter, again, folks, it's 10-minute quarters in the Women's Basketball Association, and it looks like the uh, Link, uh, yeah, the Lynx are inbounding. So... Yeah, something like that. Now here's Powell. Powell looking for options, screen set. Powell driving, looking for Perez, finds Perez, feeding it, give and go, and oh, just missed the lay in there. So here is Thomas. Thomas sprinting down the court, throws a pass ahead, and what a save initially, but now it's going to be sprint basketball. All right, just uh, waiting the referee's decision here. Oh, they want They're they're fixing the shot clock right now. Are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it looks like Stewart will inbound the ball, and she'll find Thomas. Thomas looking for options, scanning the floor. Uh, excuse me, that was Campos to the other Campos. She misses the three, and it's rebounded by Powell. Powell double teamed, and she finds Perez. Here's Janelle Perez, running the floor. Finding Favela to Powell. Powell, pound dribble, puts it up, and she's fouled. So she'll shoot two at the line for El Paso. Yep. 
So then, Powell to shoot two at the line, and she misses her first. So the foul pays off that time for the sprint. And now Powell second, and she misses both. And it's rebounded by Campos. She gets it to Sam Campos. Now here's Sam Campos. Sam driving, Sam, and oh man. Ooh, that, that could have, uh, I, I think Hendricks is okay, thankfully, because no, that, that could have okay. been a lot worse. I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, I thankfully she's, get hurt. no, you never want to see that. Now here's Perez, cross court. Now here is Favela, oh. throws it back to Perez. Wow. Perez saves it around the back. Perez, what a feed to Powell on the inside. And the lead is extended to 17. That's really good that basketball was, right there. That was an heck amazing pass. I don't really know what to say about that. That's just a good move, good pass, good score. Yeah, so here's Thomas. She kicks it out. Oh, Three-pointer, nice. and it's missed. Rebounded by Powell. And it will be sprint basketball. Now here is Vic Stewart. And they're fixing the shot clock, shot clock. clock. yeah. Okay. Well, you're going to see good basketball, you know, especially when you're defending your champions championship, right? Yeah. So Same foundation. here's Hendricks to Campos. Campos, now to Thomas. Thomas driving. Thomas, hop step. Thomas, and it's stolen away by Favela. Throws it up ahead to... There she guides Perez. Perez throws it up, and she's fouled. So Perez will shoot two at the line for El Paso then. Taking a stinger. Yeah. She fell hard to the ground there. Looks like her. she's uh, holding her lower back. Hmm. So then Janelle Perez to shoot two. Let's see her free throws. Yeah, nothing but net. I don't know if you'd expect anything less, but she set the standard pretty high. Yeah. So Perez, her second free throw, missed. And it's rebounded by the Lynx again. Another oh. offensive board. Oh. They lose it. It's stolen by uh, Stewart. Stewart cross court, and it's stolen back. Now Powell looking for options, oh. crossing up. Powell, oh, the Euro fake, and she lays it in. <laughs> Okay, Powell, 40 to 20 the score. 7.55 left in the third quarter, and Anthony Williams wants a timeout after Shannon Powell did the Euro no-look Rajon Rondo fake and took it to the rim. Man, that was a, a, a WNBA all-star move, a USA Olympic move. That was good, and we will see you shortly, folks, right after the break. All right then, folks, 20-point lead, big point lead for the Lynx. And the Sprint really need to get a bucket here to uh, get back into this one less. Sure do. I'd like to see them slow it down a little bit. Just a tad bit, hey, take hey, their time. No, 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 yeah. And, 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 and find, find avenues to, to catch the ball. Yeah. So here's the press again that's given the sprint a lot of problems. And that's how to break it. Way to break this at this time. They're going for the layup. They're pecking it back out. Oh, it's stolen by Perez. Now Perez flying up the court. Perez driving, kicks it out. Three-point shot, and it's off. And it's rebounded by the sprint. He's very unselfish, too. Yeah, very unselfish player. Now here is Sam Campos. Campos 
to the other Campos. Her three missed, and Thomas, no. Stewart puts it up. She misses it. And now Thomas looking, finds Stewart. Stewart shoots, and she misses. Gets her on board. Stewart, and she misses again. And now here is Perez for El Paso. So Perez looking for her options here. Perez scanning the court, looking for Powell. She'll take a three, and she misses it, and it's rebounded by El Paso. Powell kicks it to the corner. Her three-pointer way off. It's an air ball. Powell with the board. She puts it up. She misses it, and it's rebounded by Campos. Off to the races. Yep. Campos Mine's open. to Thomas. Her three-pointer. She misses it, and it's rebounded by El Paso. Here's Perez. Janelle Perez scanning the court for her options here. Perez. Oh, look at that move by Perez. Perez all the way. And it looks like, was that a travel? Did she travel? I think it's a legal screen. A legal screen? Illegal. So a legal screen set by Powell, I guess, as the sprint will have possession. And thankfully, because Perez had a layup. Oh, yeah. Had a nice move. Yeah, very nice. So here is Vic Stewart then. Stewart looking for options. She'll find Campos. Campos, her three-pointer. She misses, and it's rebounded by Thomas. She tries to keep it in play, and it's sprint basketball. 6.02 left to go in the third quarter. 40-20 the score. Here is, they're looking for Thomas. They'll find Thomas. Zania Thomas to Campos. Campos swings it. The other Campos, she misses. And Thomas gets the board. Kicks it back out to Campos. Sam Campos looking for options to Thomas. And a three second call there on the sprint as Abby Lepepe Tele was in the paint for too long. And now checking in is Desiree Arroyo for the Lynx. Go, go. So here is Perez calling out a set for El Paso. Perez, screen set. No, Perez goes all the way, the floater, and she misses it. Powell is there with the board, kicks it out. Her three-pointer, bang! <laughs> Emily Quaylar from downtown, and the lead is extended to 23. So here is Campos. Campos tries to answer with the three, and it's in and out. Thomas gets the board. Thomas, and she throws it away. Lynx basketball. Look, look like it slipped out of her hand. Step, step, step. And Rebecca Favela will check in for Janelle Perez, and she'll get a much-needed breather here. So Powell now running the point for El Paso. Powell driving, driving still, driving down the baseline, throws it. Three-pointer again, and oh, Quaylar tried to bank it in that time. And now Campos trying to find Stewart, and oh yeah, she got poked in the eye there. Yeah, she got poked in the eye. She's still down, and the, the play continues, and it's put in by uh, Abby Lepepetele. She gets a bucket for the sprint, but unfortunately, Messia Campos is going to have to take a break here. So a media timeout called. 4.46 left in the third quarter. Lynx lead, 43-22.
So then, folks, coming out of the timeout here. It looks like for the sprint, it's Stewart, and then it is also Thomas and Campos. Sam Campos are out there as well. Now here's Powell for El Paso. Double screen set. Powell driving, going all the way. Powell, the Euro step, and she misses the lay-in. And here's Campos, and she was fouled there. That was a pretty difficult layup. I thought, I thought she was gonna pull it off. Wow. Now here's Christiane Duarte. So Duarte will check in, and and the sprint will inbound the ball here. So, so here's Campos, and they feed it inside, and one! Abby La Pepe Tele, and you have to wonder, why, why didn't the sprint just do that earlier? Um, you know, it's just because there's a lot of pressure on them, a lot of tight defense, which is probably allowing them to panic a little bit. So, you know, they took their time on that play, looked in the post, and she was able to complete the three-point play. Well, if I were the sprint, I would keep feeding La Pepe Tele down below as she gets the old-fashioned three-point play. I mean, she's one of the tallest people on the floor. Yeah, I'd probably look to her every play from here on out. Yeah. Powell. got to recognize that, though. Yep, and oh, she traveled. So Emily Quaylar traveled. And Uber or Lyft? Where are you going? And it will be <laughs> impounded to Vic Stewart. See if the sprint can get on a run here. Oh, yeah. So here's Stewart having the ball. Screen set by Thompson. Here's Thompson. Thompson. Look at the feed to Thomas. Thomas. Oh, and it's stolen away from Thomas. And El Paso, if they looked up, they oh. had a wide open person under the rim. Powell, her three-pointer. Oh, it's a bad miss off the glass. And a foul committed by El Paso on La Pepe Tele. Fortunate result for the sprint. Yep. Uh, and it looks like Perez will check back in oh, for El Paso. Yeah. She looks like she got some sugar in her system, it looks like. And Chow will check in as well. I want to play like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing what she's Good sugar in your system? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was straight sugar she just downed. But hey, whatever works. Let's see what happens. Let's see. So Campos feeds it inside, looking ahead, and another foul committed. This time the foul was committed on Nia De La Pena Thompson. The, the links, hopefully. Referee never said. Oh, there we go. Link's it was on, it's on, on a lot of fouls recently. So they're going to look for options. They oh, find her time. inside, Darn. feeds it, and the lay-in. Good pass and good finish by Pena Thompson. Good finish. And here is Perez. Janelle Perez calling out a set for El Paso. Perez looking for options, scanning the floor, going through, and a timeout called. As Perez hit that three as that timeout was called. Coach so. Samantha Stukes uh, showing some frustration. Yeah, showing a lot of frustration, really. And uh, the Lynx lead 43-27, but she doesn't want to give up the lead, not one bit. I wouldn't either. You know, you guys have been playing at a high level for the first, you know, two-thirds of the game. How much time is left? A little over half the game. Yeah, a little bit half of the I'd game. I'd say uh, 13 and a half minutes left, give or take. You don't want to let down. You don't yeah. want to let you, you know, fold. Want to close the game, right? Yeah. So she's writing up a play. We'll see what Coach Samantha Stukes draws up in the huddle here. I'm pretty and sure it's going to go through Perez. I'm pretty sure Perez no, is going to. No, it's definitely going to go through Perez. Oh. It's 100% going through Perez. Perez or, or um, well, Shannon Powell? Powell's, Powell's on the bench, though, through? so it's going to have to go through oh, okay. Perez, you would assume, right? Right. Yeah. That's, that's like the, the catalyst. Yeah. She gets the ball. She Always finds a way, whether it's a pass, a shot, a layup. Great, I mean, great handles, very quick. It's all on her decision you know? pretty much, right? Yeah. Whatever she wants to do. Sure. She reminds me of a younger Lester Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish I could be like her. Yeah. <laughs> and they find Perez. So here is Perez. Perez looking for options, feeds it down below to the paint. Back to Perez. Perez driving, hop step, the mid-range, and it's missed. Rebounded by the sprint. And they look for Stewart. 
Here's Stewart driving. Stewart sprinting. Stewart, the feed inside, and it's going to be a lay-in for Thompson. Way to get the, uh, the the ball off the deflection and finish the shot, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right place at the right time. 43-29 El Paso. Here's Perez. Screen set. Perez, the step back midi, and it's missed. Rebounded by the sprint. They're going to push two. it ahead to Stewart. After the substitution. Oh, yeah. They feed it inside to Thompson. Thompson loses it, oh. and El Paso. Oh, I hope Thompson's all right. She took a fall there. Uh, it's going to be – who's the foul on? I think it's 20. 23. Yeah, okay, so it's interesting. So the foul's Nia, on Thompson, yeah. yeah interesting, Thompson. all right. And Asia McNeil has just checked back in for the sprint. The return of McNeil. Yep. So here is Perez. Perez feeding it on the inside. They find Chow. Chow looking for options. Chow, the backspin. Chow, what a move. And per and uh, Asia McNeil knocks it to Campos. And, oh, it went off her leg. El Paso basketball. Yeah, the tempo of the game is really fast, so yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of uh, difficult to control the game, especially when the pressure is tight on defense. Yeah, definitely. So Quaylar will inbound it to Perez. 2.07 left to go in the third quarter, 43-29. Perez giving it over to Ross. Ross driving. Ross, good defense by Asia McNeil, and she steps out of bounds. Wow. So a lot, really good defense by McNeil. Right, right. Yeah. So Sprint been st uh, stepping it up as, yeah. uh, in the last about six minutes, right? Yeah, so Hendricks will check in along with Martinez for the sprint. And here comes the press, so oh, here we go again. Here we go again, indeed. They're gonna toss it to Hendricks, oh. and oh. it works. It's stolen away. And here is Perez. Here it is. Perez, a lot of space. Perez takes it all the way and misses the layup, and it's rebounded by the sprint. Now here comes Hendricks. Nice. Slows it down. Looks at her options. Yep. Hendricks. Oh. And oh, she threw it a little too high for McNeil. A little too fast. A little too fast. Slow the game down a little bit. Take your time. Mm. Read your options. Just a little bit more. A little bit more from the sprint. I, I think, I think so I, then, I think yeah. So then, Quaylar will inbound it to Perez. Perez scanning the court, looking for Favela. Favela back to Perez. Perez to Favela. Favela the three pointer off the glass and it's missed. Perez gets the board. Perez. Driving, driving still. Perez feeds it inside the mid-range. Jay, oh, look at that by Alexis Ross. Started. Again, again throwing a dime, right? Yep. Rick doing what she wants. Yep. And a timeout called by the sprint there before the ball crossed half court. Or maybe it did, and that's when Anthony Williams called the timeout. Anthony Williams called the timeout. Let's see what happens right after, yep. right after the break. 45-29, Desert Lynx. 58.9 seconds left in the third quarter. We'll see you after the break. So then, the sprint to inbound the ball then in the third quarter here. It looks like Asia McNeil will do the honors. Fun day for uh, the debut of the WBA, right? Yeah, so they have two seconds to get it over, and they're going to throw it to Thomas. Thomas, oh, back to McNeil. Here's McNeil. McNeil, the three-pointer, and it's off. Rebounded by the... Links. Low by, low by. 
Now here's Favela. Favela, good defense by Thomas. Favela all the way, no foul called. And it's going to be El Paso basketball. That looked like uh, her legs came off the floor on that one after the contact. Yeah. So Perez to inbound the ball here. Perez got, gives it to uh, Quaylar. Quaylar back to Perez. Perez thought about it, now crosses it over to Favela. Favela, the shot, and it won't go. Rebounded by the Lynx, and they throw it off of the sprint. Well done there from Alexis Ross. So Perez to inbound the ball here. Perez looking for options. She'll toss it over to Favela who swings it over, another one, back to Perez, and she misses the three-pointer, rebounded by the sprint. And they find... Uh, McNeil. <laughs> they find um, McGee. McGee goes up, and she misses the layup. And now here's the pass. Oh, it falls oh, to Perez. Perez putting on the moves. Perez flips it up, it's missed, and Ross with the putback and puts it in. And that's gonna end the third quarter. Southwest Desert Lynx lead 47-29 over your San Diego Sprint. And we will see you at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Same man, California Burrito Nation. If you've never been to San Diego, make sure you guys go get yourself some carne asada fries or a California burrito. I actually had carne asada fries like last night. Ah. I, I probably did the uh, a couple nights ago. Right? Yeah, they're good. Really good. Humberto's Taco Shop, right? Uh, there's Humberto's, Tacos Lol El Gordo. Uh, Tacos El Gordo. Lolitas. Lolitas, there's a lot, yeah. There's a lot. I like all of them. Yeah. It just depends what kind of mood I'm in, right? Yeah. All right, folks. 10 minutes to go, 47-29 in favor of the Lynx. And the Sprint need an epic comeback here as they are down by 18 points. Well, it's 10 minute quarters, so yep. Yep. it's gotta they be a sense a, of urgency. They, they need a really big comeback here. And they're gonna try to start it with Sam Campos. Here's Sam Campos. Campos to the inside, no. down below a foul, or is it on the floor? On I the think floor. it is, it is on, on the, the floor. floor. So the sprint will inbound the ball here. It's been a good outcome every time they go into her. Yeah. She's been quite good. They're telling her to go. throw it up top. Here there she go. goes driving the mid-range J. Nice. Oh, she gets it to go. Abby La Pepe Tele. I think that's the X-Factor. Lead right is cut there. to 16. She's the X-Factor. Yeah. Play to her. So here is Janelle Perez. Perez looking for options. She finds Favela. Favela to Powell. Powell scanning the floor. Powell driving. Powell looking. Powell to Ross. Ross the three-pointer. It's off. Powell gets the board. Powell puts it up. Oh, she puts it in. Shannon Powell. And the lead is back up to 18. So here's the post player. Tatele kicks it out. Campos drives. She has a wide open lane. And oh, I'm not too sure why she uh, didn't take the... Uh, didn't take the uh, floater there. I don't think she wanted to undercut. You know, sometimes when you come out of that corner, mm -hmm. you get an undercut. Yeah. By the defender. Yeah. So I think she just wanted to protect herself a little bit on that play. Especially with the, the conservativeness of the referees, you know, not giving. Yeah. You know, hard, hard foul calls. Sometimes right. Sometimes there's a hard foul and it doesn't get called. Yeah. So now the sprint showing a little press here. Not a full court press, just one, one person. And here's Perez. Perez scanning the floor, finds Powell. Powell, her three-pointer. Oh, it's another bad miss off the glass. It looked good. 
for a second. So now here is Campos. Campos, Campos oh, puts foul. it up, and is that a blocking foul? I think it might be. Sure is. It is a blocking foul. So Campos will shoot two at the line for the sprint. I think it's on Powell. Yep, it is on Powell. So let me ask you, Josh, do you think this the total score is going to go over 100 points this game? Total? Yeah, total score between both teams. Um, No. 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 You think it's going to go under 100? Yeah. Okay, well we're at 80 right now. Yeah. 3149. Mm -hmm. I hope it goes over 100. That way the sprint could get a victory in this game. So I hope it goes over 100 for sure. So Campos' second free throw. Good to go. So here is Favela. Favela scanning the court for her options. Favela to Powell. Screen set. Powell driving, Powell spinning, Powell dishing, and the uh, mid-range from Chow is missed, and Favela gets the board. Now here's Perez. Perez thought about it. Now driving, Perez feeds it, and did she travel? Yes, she did. And Perez is not happy with that call. She's in disbelief. She doesn't have a lot of turnovers under her name, so I'm pretty sure she's pretty frustrated about that. Yeah. Stewart to Campos, Campos on the inside, feeding it, putting it up, and La, Pe uh, La Pepe Tele is fouled again. She'll shoot two at the line. Yeah, every time they've gone inside of her, it's been you know real smooth. Mm -hmm. Again, hopefully, hopefully this game ends with over 100 points, so that way we can have a sprint victory at the end and an epic comeback as well. I'm sure the fans want tacos too, right? And she knocks down her first free throw, La Pepe Tele. The point total is at 82 right now. Mm -hmm. So La Pepe Tele, and she misses it, and Almost it's three. rebounded by Favela. Here is Favela to Perez. Perez dishing Wide it. Open. Wide, open. Wide open, back to Perez. They're trying to hound her now. Perez, Perez driving. Perez, the floater. Oh, she gets it to fall. Janelle Perez, 51-33. Seen a little bit of Tony Parker right there. Mm -hmm. Here's Thomas. Zanaya feeds it down below to Tele, and she's fouled again. Getting in the paint. Mm -hmm. Going up. Strong. Yep. Good to the line. Abby LaPepe Tele. The foul was committed by Samantha Ashida. My bad, Lupita Chow <laughs> committed the foul there. Giving coach a hard time, Josh. I know, right? <laughs> As the first free throw is missed. 51-33, <laughs> left to go in this one. La Pepe Tele will shoot her second at the line here. La Pepe Tele, her second one, good to go. And a substitution to be made. And it looks like Desiree Arroyo will check in. Another sub on the sprint. Yeah. Number two. Uh, yeah, Asia McNeil is back in. So here is Perez. Perez looking for options. Screen set. Here's Janelle Perez. Janelle crossing over. Janelle looking, finding uh, Arroyo in the corner is Powell driving, Chow, Chow puts it up and it, it's a travel. Pack your bags. Travel on Chow. Pack your bags, we're going to Cali. Yep. And it looks like Emily Quayar will check in for Perez. Quayar, Quayar will check in for Perez. <laughs> Thank you, coach. <laughs> so here is Vic Stewart. Stewart putting on the moves. Stewart looking for McNeil. McNeil, the three-pointer. She misses it, rebounded, and Powell got the board and the foul. No, I didn't see, really see any contact there. I don't know, like, yeah, it was an interesting one. So Arroyo will inbound it to Favela. Here's Favela. Favela, Favela. driving. Favela going still. Here's Arroyo. Arroyo, the hop step, and oh, she misses it. And jump ball. Jump ball. 
And it's sprint going ball. to be, yep, Lynx ball. Lynx ball? Oh, yep. okay, I thought it was sprint ball. I'm sorry. So here's the inbound. They feed it inside to Powell, and she puts it in. Shannon Powell, 53-34. Now here is Campos. Screen set by McNeil. Campos driving. Campos feeding it, and Powell gets the steal. The Here's races. the fast break. Powell looking to go all the way. Powell, the Euro. Powell, and she misses the put in. Well, the layup, I should say. And here is Thomas, and a travel. That was a foul. Yeah, I thought well, I thought so too. That's an interesting call by the referee. So it looks like Ashida will check in for Favela. 53-34, 6-38 in favor of the Lynx. Uh-oh. And, yeah. oh, what? I think she played it off her back. Yeah, she did. Yeah. With the sneaky And move. almost got the lay-in. So here's Campos. Campos puts it up, and she's fouled. Going to the line. She'll shoot two at the line, Sam Campos. Foul was committed there by Emily Cuellar. So this is your first uh, women's basketball game, right? Uh, first one commentating, yes. Mine too. Yeah. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling pretty good. Campos gets one to go. Women's basketball. Yeah. So Sam, Sam Campos gets both of them to fall. 53-36. Here's Powell. Fans going crazy now. Yeah. So Powell driving around the back. Powell putting on the moves. Powell kicks it to the corner. Hop step. The floater is off. Rebounded by the sprint. And here is Asia McNeil. Oh, those are all, all the way nice to pass. Campos. Campos oh. misses the layup. Puts it up. Oh. And she's going to shoot too. Vic Stewart will go to the line. 6.04 to go. You like the decision of the pass, do you? Yeah. Although she didn't finish. It's a good pass, right? Yeah. I want to do the same thing. Absolutely, especially if Stewart can hit these free throws here. So, here is Vic Stewart. Her first free throw, good to go. Good form. Yeah, excellent form. New lead. Vic Stewart, second free throw, missed. And rebounded by the sprint. Good Crossing look. it to McNeil. McNeil's three-pointer. It's missed. Oh, she and it she'll get her own board. Take a time. Yep. Get, to the, get to the lane. So here's Let's Vic Stewart. Lane. Stewart. Screen set by Campos. Backing it out. Stewart driving. Three-pointer from Thomas. Bang! Bang! Zaniah Thomas from downtown. You got to like the penetrating kick on that play. Yep. Powell. Oh, oh Powell tries a three. She answers back. Shannon Powell. 56-40. Oh, back to her again? Yep, Thomas, a three-pointer, and oh. she misses it that time. Here comes El Paso. They find Cuellar. Cuellar over to Arroyo, feeding it inside. The spin, and it's in. It's oh, it's a travel. A travel wow. called on Ashida, and Perez will check back in. And... Abby LaPepe Tele is back in for the sprint. Somebody help me. She called the travel. The ref called the travel. <laughs> so uh. here's Vic Stewart. Stewart. Oh, what a cross by Stewart. The floater, and she'll shoot two at the line. And the foul was committed by Cuellar. And the bonus. Looks like they're going to go over 100. Yeah. So Stewart then. Her first free throw is missed. Yo, coach, you got five. Quayar, Quayar. You just only three. Looks like Cuellar has fouled out. The referee is saying six oh, to six. foul out, so she, Cuellar is fine at the moment. She is in foul trouble, but she's okay. Stop, stop, stop. 
And Favela will check in for Emily uh, Cuellar. The return of Favela. Yeah. Cuellar is in disbelief. Yeah. So here is Vic Stewart. Her second free throw. Oh, it's an air ball, and it's rebounded by Arroyo. She's also the racist. Yep. Arroyo cross court to uh, Powell. Now a three pointer. It's off, and it's rebounded by Stewart. There we go. Yep. Good Stewart Get it up early. ahead to Campos. Campos Good. inside the lane. Oh, beautiful pass. And finishing it is La Pepe Tele. That's good basketball right there. Excellent ball movement. Now here is Perez. At this point, you think El Paso, you know, slow the game down a bit. You have control as Perez will cross in. Perez, Perez, oh, she flips it in. Janelle Perez. So here is Zanaya Thomas. Thomas to Campos. Campos inside and a push. I don't know on who. Go back to the line. It's on Powell, so the foul's on Powell. How many, how many fouls does she have? And Abby LaPepe Tele will shoot two at the line. So La Pepe Tele miss, uh, gets her first one to go. So Abby La Pepe Tele then. Her second free throw, in and out, rebounded by the Lynx, and it will be Lynx basketball. And it looks like Lupita Chow will Check in for Desiree Arroyo. The return of Chow. So here is Janelle Perez, who just had that layup. 4.05 left to go in the fourth quarter. Big lead for the Lynx. Perez crossing, hop step. Perez keeps on going, feeds it, swinging it to Powell. Powell looking, Powell bullying her way in the paint. Powell to Perez, the mid-range J. Oh, nothing but net. Janelle Perez, Knockdown City. In accordance. Yeah. It's on the same page. 60-43, here's Thomas. Thomas, great handles by Thomas. And stolen away by Favela. Favela Quarterback, to yeah. Perez, and she won't be able to keep that in play. Incomplete. So... Here is Sam Campos. So Sam Campos will now dribble the ball up the floor for the sprint. Campos, screen set. There's the mismatch. They feed it inside. That's off of the links, and that's going to be sprint basketball. So here's Vic Stewart. Stewart looking for options. They oh. feed it down below. It's a dangerous pass, and it's stolen by the Lynx. That almost looked like the Giants. Now here is Powell to Perez. She wants to shoot the three, and she thinks better of it. She'll just bring it back out. Slow the game down. Slowing the game down. Like I said, you might just slow the game down at this point for the Lynx. Here's Perez. Perez, the three-pointer. Bang! <laughs> Nothing but net, Janelle Perez. Knockdown city. Indeed. And the lead is back up to 20. Stewart with the layup, and sh it's going to be a foul. She'll shoot two at the line. Back to the line. Back to the line for the sprint. And Christian Duarte will check in shortly here as a media timeout is called with 2.52 left in the fourth quarter. Lynx leads 63-43.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, fourth quarter action here at Coronado High School, 63-43, the score line in favor of the Southwest Desert Lynx. And it looks like Vic Stewart will shoot two free throws for the sprint. So, Stewart at the free throw line then. Stewart's first free throw, missed. Stewart's second free throw, good to go. So here is Favela, Rebecca Favela of El Paso. Favela driving, Favela around. Oh, and oh, that's going to be a uh, backcourt, but Perez doesn't. Let's it go. Thomas shoots the three. She misses it. Rebounded by the sprint. Stewart. Oh, and she missed the layup. Two and a half left to go. And, yeah, both coaches in uh, on the same wavelength here. And Perez has the ball, puts on the handles, lost her handle momentarily. And that's a... Is that a, what, what was it called, double dribble? Double dribble. Double dribble, okay. So Vic Stewart to inbound to Campos. Here is Sam Campos. Campos, Favela playing D. Campos driving. Campos, the Euro puts it up. And it's sprint ball. We got you, we got you, we got you. <laughs> we, we're trying to make sure that the, uh, the coaches for the Desert Lynx are okay over here. So Stewart to inbound to Thomas. Here's Thomas. Thomas, and it's stolen away. And here's Perez. Perez driving. Perez, Perez brings it back out. She finds Ross down below. Ross tosses it to Perez. Perez looking. Perez kicks it out. Favela three-pointer off the glass and missed. And Ross gets the... Uh, And Ross, yeah, and Ross got hit in her eye, and she already has a black eye. So she's going to take a breather here. 145 left in the fourth quarter. Hope she feels better. Yeah. So Sam Campos now will check in for Nia Thompson. We got ice. We got ice. You guys see the ice? So inbounds it to Perez. Here is Janelle Perez. Perez around the back, looking for her options. Perez passing it over to Arroyo. Arroyo, eight seconds on the shot clock. Arroyo driving, Arroyo bullying. Arroyo flips it up and it's missed. It's staying with the Lynx. This game is almost over. Yep. I wanna add some more time on the clock. I'm having yeah. a little bit of fun. Yeah. And a timeout called by the Lynx. 30-second timeout, 128 left in the fourth quarter, and they lead 63-44, to 44, and we'll see you after the break. Where are you going to eat at, man? I don't know, probably at home. What are you going to make, man? Egg salad sandwich or something? Egg salad sandwich? It's pretty good. <laughs> Minus the salad, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a uh, breakfast croissant from Fresh Area. You ever been there? Fresh Area? Fresh Area. I think I've been there a few times. Oh, yeah. man, you guys got to try the breakfast croissant. Shout out to Fresh Area. Yeah. All right, then. So inbounding the ball here is Desiree Arroyo. Arroyo tosses it, three-pointer wide open, and it's off, and it's rebounded, and ripped away by Powell. Jump ball. I think she might have a double-double. Maybe. I, oh, no, she most definitely does. And the sprint will inbound the ball. So here is Sam Campos. 
Campos driving, going to the hole. Campos hop step, the layup, it's missed. And Perez will give it up to Favela. Here is Rebecca Favela. A minute four left to go. Here is Powell. Powell driving. Powell puts it up and puts it in. Shannon Powell. 65-44 the score. Here is Stewart. Kicks it out. Thomas the three-pointer. Bang! She gets it to go. Zanaya Thomas. Water. That was wet. 65-47. Here is Desiree Arroyo. Arroyo flying. Arroyo. Arroyo. And she gives it up to uh, up three. Asia McNeil. McNeil dishing it. The mid-range J. It does not go. And it's rebounded by the sprint. Here's Stewart. Stewart. The step back three-pointer. Bang! She gets it to go. Another one. Good. Yeah. You add five more minutes to the game. <laughs> 65-50, shot clock is turned off, or it should be, as there's only 10 seconds left to go. And that's going to go out of bounds, Lynx basketball. Thanks guys for tuning in, special thanks. To now Elizabeth. here is Desiree Arroyo, thank you folks for uh, tuning in with us today as this game is gonna end. And the Southwest Desert Lynx, all the way from El Paso, Texas, have defeated your San Diego Sprint in the opening game of the Women's Basketball Association by a score of 65 to 50. Your thoughts on the game, Les? I had fun. It was a great, great showcase of basketball for the women, um, and hopefully we can help them grow and improve uh, as far as just um, giving them a platform, giving them a platform to showcase themselves. Absolutely, yeah, and hopefully the uh, next game we do, the Sprint can uh, regroup and uh, come back with a victory. Sure, sure thing, yeah. So other than that, folks, that's going to do it all here from Coronado High School. Yeah, sure. As uh, we'll get an interview with the, uh, yeah, we'll get an interview with one of the players here. <laughs> Do you want us to back up or is this good? I want to pull the whole thing I know. in front of me. Yeah. Mess up all the equipment. All right, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Coronado High School, the basketball gymnasium, which today was home of your very own San Diego Sprint, where they lost 65 to 50 to the visiting Desert Lynx, all the way from El Paso, Texas. But, however, we are joined here by the player of the game, Janelle Perez. So, Janelle, um, could you tell us, you know, opening day, I know it's on the road, and, you know, 15-point win, you grit it out. What can you tell us, Janelle? Uh, you know, we just, uh, this year we're in rebuilding. You know, we have new players, new faces, and we just came out here um, trying to play hard and trying to figure out and put the pieces together. But um, our defense, for the most part, was pretty good. Uh, we have a lot to work out, work on offensively and defensively, but I think we played hard as a team, and we had a few players and with um, uh, tough rebounds, uh, good possessions, and hit key shots. Absolutely, and uh, speaking of players, you're definitely one of the key players, a star player for this team, one of the sparks, catalyst, whatever you want to call it. You know, you got good shooting skills, really good with your handles, great passing vision. What would you say to the world is your best attribute as a basketball player, though? I think my ability to set up my teammates and put them in a good position so they can be successful. I've always trained to be that kind of point guard. Um, 
in addition to being able to score the ball and also uh, play defense is just uh, something I've been working on. But being able to set up um, opportunities for my teammates is probably the, the one I would say. For sure. And last but not least, you said it was uh, a bit of a rebuilding year for this team. So for the rest of the season, what can we expect from El Paso? We're just going to keep getting better. You know, uh, we we uh, we started um, pretty good. Uh, we had some good practices, but there's always room for improvement. And we're, we're trying to see where we can go this season. And uh, with the, few pe the new pieces that we have, we have a lot of shooters, a lot of potential to be up there uh, contending for another championship. So we're going to just keep getting better day by day. Absolutely. Well, enjoy the rest of your road trip, Janelle. Thank you for joining us here. Huh? Oh, oh, I want to give a shout out to the head of the Game Academy. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, Janelle. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, folks, that'll uh, do it here. I am your commentator, Joshua Pangan, and we'll try to get one more interview for you here. Ask one of the players anyway. Or you want me to do it? Okay, well, ask one of their players. Say, hey, wouldn't you guys want to do an interview? All right, folks, welcome back to the Coronado High School Gymnasium, home of the San Diego Sprint, where I'm joined here by Zaniah Thomas of the Sprint. So, Zaniah, um, you know, opening day, tough loss, you know, but this is, you know, a very good team. I believe they are uh, defending champions at the minute, so you're going again up against one of the best right away. But, um, you know, what are some positives that you think, you know, the team had today? What are some positives you could take away from um, a positive that I can take away is just our team chemistry. I feel like um, as it being our first game, um, this is our first game with all of us playing together and different players. So just finding that te team chemistry together. And I feel like as the season go on, we'll definitely be coming out strong. So, I mean, we're not going to take this as a loss for us. This is just a learning experience. And that's about it. Absolutely. And so, Zaniah, what would you say is the best attribute to yourself as a basketball player? Um, just being a leader for my teammates. That's pretty much it. I feel like leadership is something that big for me and just making sure that I can feed that energy to my teammates as well. Absolutely. And last but not least, what can we expect from the sprint in their next game? Um, definitely a win and us just coming out strong and just staying consistent in what we do. Absolutely. Thank you, Zanai. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Oh, could you uh, shout out the head of the game academy? Who? Yeah. The, what is it called? Yeah, just saying shout out to the head of the game academy. And shout out to the head of the game academy. Appreciate it, Zanai. You have a great one. Yeah. All right, folks, that'll do it. I've been your commentator, Joshua Pangan. There you go. All right, folks, here with one of the owners of the Sprint and the Oceanside Surf, Elizabeth. Canalvarez. Canalvarez. <laughs> there okay, we go. Forgot. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Liz, you know, um, 
is a uh, brand new team in the Sprint, is it? Or have how long have the Sprint been around? Tell us a little bit of history about the uh, Sprint. The history of the Sprint is um, they've been around since 2009, but they were on hiatus, of course, during COVID. Um, we purchased the team in April of 2021, which was last year, and uh, we rebuilt it and we rebranded and we're still rebranding. It's an unfortunate thing that we lost tonight, but whew, we played one hell of a game, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A lot of effort out there. And so speaking of rebranding and rebuilding, I mean, you must be ecstatic for this upcoming, the rest of the season. To be oh, fair. yeah, definitely. Definitely. We've got some girls that are hella talented. So, you know, once we get our groove thing, you know, we'll be OK. Absolutely. And so uh, what can we expect or what do you hope from the sprint for next game? What do you what are you hoping for? A slaughter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's what hopefully, I'm thinking. hopefully so. <laughs> All right, that's the owner, Liz, over here of the Sprint. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Do you think you'd shout out ahead of the Game Academy? Oh, yeah. hey, I just want to give a shout out to Head of the Game Academy. Thank you so much for supporting us this game. I appreciate it. Thank you. You want to know? Hey, what what do you, you want to ask you about the game? That's it. That's it. Let me ask you about the game. All right. Come on, pressure. After, 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 yeah. All right. So I'm here with Desert Lynx coach Samantha Stukes. Hello, coach. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We just got the dub, so worth the drive. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, coach, you were mentioning a bit, or well, Janelle actually mentioned a bit that this is a bit of a rebuild this team okay. for this year. Can you comment on that? Yes, we have four returners. Uh, we just lost a really big starter, Val Bariga. Big shout out to her. She's in Mexico playing in the LMVP. Um, she was 25 and 12 for us, so it's a big loss, but we have a lot of newcomers that we think can, can be crucial pieces to the puzzle that we're trying to put together this season. Absolutely, and so you are defending a championship, correct? Not of this league, but of the WBDA, yes, our previous league. Okay, so you so of that league, you're defending a championship. So going into this league, trying to win it all, right? What is, the, what is the coaching philosophy that you want to implement on your players? You know what, team basketball. I think it's super important to stay fundamental, um, stay skilled, work together, um, and always keep a camaraderie on the court. Whatever happens on the court stays there. When we come out here, back to normal, back to family. Um, and creating that chemistry is... is it's going to take a little bit of time, maybe a few games, but I think we'll figure it out. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach, no, and thank you. enjoy you. your win. And can you shout out Ahead of the Game Academy? Ahead yeah. Of the Game Academy, just and shout out to Ahead of the Game Academy. <laughs> thank you, Coach. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you. Enjoy Appreciate the rest you. of your work. Yeah. Right. Anthony! Right. Here with the coach of the sprint, Anthony Williams here. So, Coach, you know, uh, first game and like Liz said you know this team has rebranded itself it's rebuilt itself for ready for a brand new season you know coach as well so um, even though it's a uh, first loss of the season what are some positives you can take away from the team today uh, well, some of the positives I want to point out is you know we got a great talented group of ladies that um, we just got to you know finish some kinks and um, we got to polish up and um, you know we got to bust some things out and it's practice makes perfect so it's first time for a lot of the girls together to where you know this team over here they're very unselfish they they move the ball and they're very well coached and um, so I would expect us for a lot of improvement and um, we we'll definitely get them back next time. Absolutely, and at times you switch from the man defense to the two-three zone, which seemed to work better. Are we going to see more of that in the future, a two-three zone or more man-to-man? -man? Uh, well, I think our strength is more of a man, and we got to focus on our strengths, and uh, you know we got to keep our. Uh, you know, keep errors to a minimum, and you know we got to protect the ball. And um, most definitely, we're going to be playing more man-to-man uh, -man defense. All right, absolutely. And can you give a shout out to the head of the game academy? Uh, you know, I definitely want to give a shout out to head of the game academy um, with the production and the media with uh, Joshua here and uh, Lester Mayo. Um, without them, they wouldn't have been able to make this possible. So I just want to give it a shout out to the academy. All right, thank you, coach. And we'll see you at the next game. Thank you. Go Sprint! You guys. All right, that'll do it.
Now that that virus came 